don't don't face tank me. You never know that battle. A lot. I can carry, but like, Two up here on me, on me. how badly do I have to carry off? Really badly. Really badly. Really, really badly. badly. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, yeah. Catch him, B. Look at this nigga here. He he a bot. I got C. I got C. He can't even punch. Oh yeah, it's an easy lobby. Damn, you died. That's up. That nigga down. That nigga down. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to a Division Build video, of Division Two. Um, right now it's like the beginning process on how everyone's trying to make builds and what's farming. There's some PVP action I've been going into, but like so far the D's has been dead, absolutely dead. Most of my PVP action has come from skirmish, which is basically conflict or domination, but. So far, this is my build. Um, it's not fully maxed out. I could have better pieces, but let's go on over it. First things first. Well, in my opinion, this is the best assault rifle in the game, the CTAR. It was nasty in the closed beta. It was even disgusting in the open beta. Everyone's trying to get on this gun. Everyone's trying to get their hands on this gun right now. This is probably the hardest hitting gun. Um, and it has a high fire rate. If you don't have one, um, next best option. In my opinion, it's a F2000. It has a high fire rate and it has even incredible DPS. But if you don't have neither one of those two, you can always rock with a, a G36 or a um ACR. ACRs drop a lot in the game. So if you don't have none of three of these weapons, just run a um a ACR. Skills. I mean not skills. Mods. First things first, I use a reflex. That's the only site I feel like should be used in this game. I don't know why anyone would want to use a red dot site to take away from the crit hit chance. You're trying to go for a DPS build, so why would you want to take away from your crit hit? I use a reflex site that gives me 10% more crit hit damage. It takes away from my accuracy, but I can control my weapon. This gun has incredible um, handle. It has no recoil whatsoever. It has high stability. Next, um, I use a loud vent break. I use this because as optimal range. The more range you got, the longer your drop off is. Like in Call of Duty Native Game, the further your bullets can travel, the harder it hits. If you don't have like a high drop off rate, so like if I take this off, you see the difference? My stability goes back up, yeah, but I do less damage from further away. So I keep that on. Um, I can use a laser sight, so that's the only thing I can use. And my magazine, I use more bullets. I can take a hit from my um, rate of fire because I have already a 900 over 900 RPM so I can take a little hit but if I take it off my fire rate is 990 that's still incredibly high but with only 30 bullets you're not really in a gunfight with that I run two AR just like in the old Call of Duty how people run two um, lightweight M4s I run two ARs my second AR like I said before is the F2000 it hits hard if I don't want to use this, I'll use G36. G36 also hits hard, but I like to use this from further range because of the Ranger, the Ranger talent. The further you are from your target, the more DPS do. While as the C Tar, the closer you are to your target, the more damage you do. So killing a target within 7 meters grants you a 50% weapon damage. That's basically responsive, but tweaked a little. Lastly, I use a pistol. The reason I use this pistol is because of the finisher move. When I when I get a player low on his health, I switch to a pistol, kill him. By that time I knock him down, there's another player coming. It's like how in the other division when you knock a player down but you switch to your double barrel to get that extra um health recovery. I switch to a pistol, knock him out. When I switch back to my AR, as you can see with the talent, swapping from this weapon within three seconds of a killing of an enemy you get 30% crit hit chance for 15 seconds. 15 seconds is a very long time. So when you shoot someone down with your AR or a submachine gun, switch to your pistol, smack them, switch back to your gun, mow down the next person. That's incredibly dangerous. You have so much damage when you're doing that. Now, on to my build. I run a three-piece DH. If you don't want to run a three-piece DH, you can run a three-piece W. Basically the same exact thing. 
except for the second and third talent. With DH, you get 10% crit hit damage with a 7% crit hit chance. While as with the W, I just say W because it's easy and short, you get 7% damage with a 10% chance. It's basically the same numbers, but with the chance and damage flipped with the same exact stats. So I'm losing out on 3% chance, but I'm getting a 3% damage. Well, I'm trying to get my armor up a little bit more, but so far, I'm liking my stats. Um, my chest piece, I find this to be my second best chest piece. It's No, this is my best chest piece I have, but I like to run this chest piece. Why? As you can see, this chest piece has crit hit chance of 11, so I'm losing out on some crit hit chance by using this chest piece. But by using this one, as you can see, the first and second talents. The first talent is hearted, which means I get a 10% on armor. That's why you see my armor so high. And I get an extra 20% on my health, vital. So I'm like extremely high right now just by using this one chest piece. You see how my stats go lower by using this one? But my DPS goes a little bit higher. I kind of can lose out some chance, that 11% just because I'm using some chance on my um my gun. I try to balance it out a little bit, you wanna say. Um as for the mods, I don't really have any good mods, so the only chest speed mods I have is cricket chance resistance and the your mask you can't get a mod on your mask, so you can only have camos. As for the holster, the reason I'm using this one is because I have some health and I have chance. Cricket chance. I could take health off and put armor, but I don't have any armor pieces to switch it. You need to have a piece that has armor, armor bonus, bonus to armor, in order to recalibrate and fix it. I'll make a video on it showing you steps by steps to recalibrate and what to use. So right for right now, don't delete any of your pieces because you're going to need them in order to recalibrate. Next I want to talk about is the backpack. My backpack is shit. I'm gonna say that just right now. It might be a 465, but it's some garbage. I do not care about skill power. So having that initial skill power, I have to suffer and do having that. Armor bonus is fine, but having another skill cooldown is kind of repetitive. I want to have at least armor bonus with some crit hit chance on my backpack, just like this one. But I can't. So I need to find another W backpack. I want to at least run. I run one piece W, the furnace, furnace, whatever you call it, chest piece. In my gloves, I would like to run one piece Apollo. Why Apollo? To get that extra 10% accuracy. I don't really need it, but it's nice. I can also flip it out with this one. This one's also good. Don't get me wrong. With this one, I get an extra 5% on my armor. So I'm really stacking a shit ton of armor right now. I'm tanky as fuck. And I do a shit ton of DPS. So if a player wants a 1v1 me and get in my face, off rip, he already lost the battle. Lastly, my knee pads, also DH. And these, I get an attribute of crit hit chance with the talent of armor regeneration. With my mods and talents, as you can see, my also doesn't have a talent. So that's one knockoff. My backpack, like I said before, isn't that great, but this build so far, I'm really enjoying it because it hits hard as a rock. With this, I kind of, this is reminding me of like a Banshee build, like a Banshee slash um, Pred. Not Pred as in the sense of the bleed, but Pred as in like how hard it hits with the crits. 30, these are the three skills you can choose, spells you can choose. If you like using SMGs, like some machine guns, as in like a AC, I'm about to say ACR, as in like a, um, a house or a P90 or a PP19 or MP7, MP5, whatever, use a demolition because why? If you increase this, you can get 50% on SMG damage. But I don't like using SMGs that much. I'm really more of an assault rifle player. I get better all around bonuses by using survivalists. I like to use triage because in division one, I wasn't a healer, don't get me wrong. I was that DPS person. But with um, triage, I pop a heal on the floor, 
my teammate also pops a heal on the floor. We go on back and forth in PvP, healing each other while in the middle of the gunfight so we can tank the shit out of people's bullets and still knock them down. By using um survivalist, you also get incendiary rounds. You only get incendiary rounds. You only get you get incendiary grenades only if you use you get incendiary grenades only if you use survivalist. <clears throat> um, I also chose explosive damage, but I can also stack into my mines. Like I said before, the mines are like healers. The main reason why I use survivalist is for this assault rifle bonus. 15% assault rifle damage. You know how much that is? Yes, it's 15%, and that's crazy amount. Um, I also got a custom magazine for the 5.56, five, but I don't really use it, but I still got it just because. Um, shotguns is OP as fuck in this game, and they need to nerf them. Especially that spaz, which I'm about to show you mines. If I increase this to get that 15%, I can legit one-shot a person. Or if I use a double barrel, I can one-shot you. Running in a group, if you want to be that player, you can also use this mode, survivalist link, tactical link. So like when someone's in status effect, as in they're hit with a flashbang, they're burning, they're um, concussion, whatever, you get a 10% bonus with your damage. I don't know if I want to spec into this because usually when I play PvP, no one's ever in status effect. Maybe because it's brand new and that no one's really throwing grenades and stuff like that. Thankfully, but sooner or later, once people start spamming that, yeah, I might put this on. But for now, no. Lastly, Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter is like if you ever play Call of Duty and you need st and you use stock. Most people play Call of Duty know what stock is, and you use Quick Draw. If you if you like if that's your crutch. And that really helps you win gun battles like I do when I play pubs, not pubs, or I play CWL, I use um, stock. Stock is my number one thing to use. I can survive without quick draw, but I need my stock so that movement speed. So this is another alternative. If I don't, usually if I wasn't running survivalist, I'll run sharpshooter. Demolitionist, I'm good on that. I don't need to run that. These are only my... my my one and my two, my two options right here. But basically, this is my build. Um, it's not the best, but it's definitely, definitely not the worst. The only time I'll get killed in PvP is from my Division One tactics, cause I love face tanking people. I love doing that. I don't know why, but I do it too much. In Division Two, I can knock one person down. But the way I play, I try to tank at least three people at once. That doesn't work in Division 2. You can't do that. But if I once I play smart, ain't no one can knock me down. 1v1s, it's a wrap using this build. You will never lose a 1v1 using this build. But that's basically it. I just want to show you my build.